Hello, this is Dr. Daniel Farkas. I want to talk to you today about autoimmune conditions. Autoimmune conditions go by many names, uh, fibromyalgia, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, celiac disease, multiple sclerosis, psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis, um, allergies, vasculitis, which means inflamed arteries. Um, there are many names to this. But the big picture of autoimmune conditions is what it is, it's the body seems to be attacking itself Unfortunately, sometimes uh, portions of the body that aren't functioning properly, they can look like foreign invaders and the body will attack it. Um, and unfortunately, this unleashes the immune system and inflammation on different areas of the body. A lot of times this causes just what I said, inflammation. And if you look at the word inflammation, you'll see the word flame in there, F-L-A-M. This can cause all different types of pain. It can cause uh, chronic debilitating conditions that ruin people's lives and to get to the source of them is the most important thing um, as far as resolution. There are different sources of autoimmune disease um, infections. Now the infections can be from blatant active bacteria or viruses or they can also be from foreign invaders that are dormant or what we call subacute or subclinical that might not show up on your average test. These can cause the immune system to just constantly be trying to hunt down and eradicate these foreign invaders, but unfortunately leaves us stuck in a state of chronic inflammation that can attack the gut, it can attack the skin, it can attack the joints, it can attack the hair, it can attack many different things. Um, Another source so common is digestive dysfunction. And what this means is that our small intestine is the pathway and the doorway that things get absorbed directly into our bloodstream. Now, when good things get into our bloodstream, good things happen. But when bad things pass through and sneak through a weakened intestinal barrier, those things, especially not properly digested proteins, they resemble normal healthy body tissues. And unfortunately, the body declares war on those normal healthy body tissues because they look like the not properly digested food particles that are foreign invaders. This is particularly true in the case of, of Hashimoto's hypothyroiditis. That's thyroid disease or autoimmune disease of the thyroid. Very, very commonly too as well, eating allergens and things that we have food sensitivities to. Remember, when foreign things that look like bad guys get in the body, the immune system mobilizes and it attacks. And wherever those things are, the body will attack it. No matter if it's the thyroid, if it's the gut, if it's the skin, if it's the joints, if it's the hair, any area of the body, if it is the colon itself, reproductive areas, everything. And then we also must talk about um, the very, very common source that affects virtually every person in the world, which is the ingestion or the intaking of toxins through eating and drinking and through absorption through the skin. These are pesticides, food additives, preservatives, uh, the, the chemicals that give new car smell, carpeting, building products, clothing, all these things. They get foreign invaders into our body and then they set off the immune system and they make it overreact and hyperreact. So it leads a question of, it sounds like there are a lot of different sources of where the problems could be coming from. What is the best way to determine the cause of these? And what we found is that it's through some very specific precision type testing. Um, these are probably not the type of tests that you would see in a typical ordinary doctor's office. These you would find in a specialty office or like a functional health care provider's office. Um, Screening for subacute infections, critical, very important. The blood can be tested to determine are there actually dormant or subclinical subacute infections that are magnifying the body's autoimmune response. Uh, precision gut and stool testing that can determine what a myriad of things, what of the dozens and dozens of things that happen in the gut could be out of balance, allowing bad foreign invaders to sneak through. Um, allergy tests that are specific and precision in nature that test the blood to determine what the body truly is allergic to, and blood, urine, and hair toxins tests that could test for things like heavy metals and other foreign invaders that could upset the immune system, cause it to overreact, and cause it to become hypersensitive to attack itself. So when it comes to resolving your problems, I urge you don't overlook clues. Now, we here are not against drugs, but we know that drugs cover up symptoms. You know, drugs are designed to make us feel better, but don't particularly cure things uh, permanently for people who suffer from autoimmune disease, especially of the gut. 
um, drugs, they cover up the symptoms. And like I said, those symptoms are the clues that tell us where to look. So I want you to think and look at your symptoms. Like what is your body really saying to you? Why is it attacking itself? What foreign things could possibly have gotten in you? And I urge you to look a little bit deeper. And a great way to look a little bit deeper is with some precision testing in order to determine exactly what is aggravating or exacerbating the autoimmune disease. So we're pleased that you took a minute to listen to us from Back to Health Natural Solutions. Uh, We hope that you find a resolution to your problem, and we encourage you to look deeper to the solution of your autoimmune disease.